Let's do it. All right. Yeah, Mr. Maurice, how are you doing, bro? I'm doing all right. How are you? I'm great. So uh, we've been seeing the teasers on the Instagram. People who are following you. Yeah. Uh, you've been some uh, one of those artists that has a particular way of putting out your product. You don't just throw it out like that. Yeah. What inspires all that? Uh, I wouldn't say I'm a perfectionist, but I, I have uh, I have respect for my fans that they should get the best yeah. of everything. I mean, if I'm going to go to studio, I don't want to give anyone something that's half baked. I want people to enjoy the music. Yeah. I want them to enjoy the packaging. I want them to to feel that their artist has put time into the project until they can buy it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so talk to us about this moyo. You cause we already know that you're the king. <laughs> but what's the difference uh, that the 2015 one is bringing? Moyo means soul in, yeah. in Luganda, not not heart as it is in Swahili. Yeah. But soul, Ugandan soul music. Something I started up in 2007. Yeah. And it grew into an album in 2009. And uh, I did another album in 2012. But this is my third album. And what I love about this album, it brings both the Misuba album and the Book of Kiria style together for it to make sense what I was trying to invent which is more your Ugandan soul music. Yeah. And uh, to, to, uh, who are some of the artists you're working with? Because you know, uh, albums are like a journey, they're a celebration. 2015 on this particular one. For every album uh, I like to feature one artist who I think is awesome. Yeah. For the last album I featured Michael Wuma. Yeah. And this one I, I'm featuring the one and only Younger. Younger. Why and, uh, that particular artist? I've always wanted to work with him because he's a genius. He's, uh, he's very talented. He's a uh, visionary. Yeah. And I love to work with the best. Yeah. And uh, he, he's also doing, uh, if, if we are to relate what he has just done, yeah. he turned into the gospel, the religious kind of uh, path. Of course. And, uh, and you just did something with uh, our Toto, yeah. the kids. Yeah. Uh, African Children's Cry. Uh, yeah. Yes. But they're featured on the album. Um, African Children's Cry, no, it's not a song that's on the album. You see, I don't want to spill all the beans. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I, I okay. I don't want to spill all the beans for you. Okay. But um, Ryonga is on a song on the album called Ghost. You know, usually I tell my fans on Facebook, oh, I'm writing a song called Ghost or Horses in the Sky. Yeah. And I think I'm going to have it on the album. Some people think I'd be joking, but I did write that song as I was driving. Yeah. And I had to feature him because he's not only talented, but he would understand how to metaphorically approach such a title. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, when does the project drop? Uh, pretty soon. Probably by the time you put this up, it might be <laughs> on your desk. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Okay, now this is a surprise. Yeah. So, um, uh, other than the album, because I know 2015 you're trying to focus on the album yeah. and I remember one of your posts because uh, as a journalist you need yeah. to do your research before you of do an course. interview. Yeah. So uh, you said 2015 is going to topple all the years that you've been in the industry yeah. when it comes to concerts, performances. I would say, 20, you know, someone asked me what's your favorite album, what's your favorite concert. I say it's not about having the favorite something but everything has to be unique on its own. Yeah. Every album is special. Yeah. And 2015 is a year in its own league. What I did in 2014, I was happy with it. What I did in 2013, I can't change anything. Uh, but 2015 is definitely going to have high energy. Yeah. And uh, we're going to reach all the way to Nairobi, Dar es Salaam, Burundi, uh, Chigali. We want to make sure all our fans in every country do get a chance to, to listen to this music. Yeah. Yeah. Why the push though for the East African inter integration? Why are you um, going out of your way to to go to these places. The reason why I'm spreading out all East Africa is because they've supported me for so long and they deserve a Maurice Kiria concert, a Maurice Kiria album. They deserve, I need to be there for my fans just like they've been there for me. I mean, when I see online all the downloads, they're yeah. coming from everywhere. They come from Nairobi, they come from Chigali, they come from Dar es Salaam, Burundi. Yeah. And I, I, I just want the best for my fans just like they want the best for me. But other than the album, I'm working on a reality TV show with uh, uh, Maisha Magic. Yeah. And the, the show is called Maisha Superstar. I'm working on it with Chameleon, AY, Rabbit Shah, and Nameless, and Eric Wainaina. Yeah. And uh, that's another thing that's keeping me busy. And of course, my baby right there. The sound cap. <laughs> the sound cap. The yeah. that makes me very happy. Yeah. And uh, I try to keep busy, but at the same time, keeping the music true to okay. the fans. Okay. Uh, the, the, oh, at times they say uh, too many cooks for the soup. 
Yeah. And this is taking me to the project you just uh, embarked on. The Maisha. Yeah. <laughs> There's lots of uh, you guys, all, all of you bring different uh, skills to the table. Yeah. And because uh, to me, it, 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 it kind of feels like a big brother. Yeah. You're putting people with uh, different talents in one project yeah. to try and propel it to something. Yeah. But uh, what do you think? Uh, I think it's reality TV show. Yeah. Good or bad or whatever the characters turn out to be, it's good for TV and it brings out the reality of things. Yeah. I mean, when you watch the show, you realize everything is real. Yeah. I mean, with reality, you have everything. The mistakes and everything will be televised, you know? Yeah. And uh, I think that's good for TV. You've always told me you don't uh, engage in something that does not add something to your brand. What is this reality TV adding to the Maurice Curie brand? This reality TV show is adding to my brand in this way. I, I'm very passionate about young people and young musicians. Yeah. And because I always go out of my way to try to help artists talk to them, try to inspire them, motivate them to do something more than what they're doing at the moment. Yeah. This gives me a platform to, to be able to help someone's dream out there. Someone someone could become the next big thing. Yeah. And I'll just be humbled to have been a part of their journey. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time, bro. Appreciate it, bro.